Hey there, this is Don Mars Ortiz from Mars Marketing, and today I am super, super excited to share with you the Igloo app. I've been raving about this this product since it came out. I got it about two weeks ago when it first came out. It's relatively new, um, and I'm just blown away by what this app can do. So if you are um, someone who has a business and wants to create amazing landing pages, you know, so lead capture pages, sales pages, uh, anything like that, but you're on uh, a tight budget or you're like somebody like me who just loves really good design and didn't want to take on another, uh, you know, monthly fee, then you will absolutely love this. So what you're looking at actually is the sales page of Igloo and you can notice like the little background, like just, just the little gentle video background and they've got some like cool animations. So this is a landing page that they created with their, with their own app. And I think that that's kind of what impressed me at first. Okay. So I'm just scrolling through to show you kind of what's possible, what they built with their own app. And we're going to take a look inside of my account and I'm going to show you, but isn't this really pretty? Uh, it really reminds me of ClickFunnels. So if you've been looking at different page builders, you probably have tried a couple and maybe you've settled on one. Uh, I know for myself, I've been using lead pages for years. I use Entre pages because it's part of Entreport's system. I used to use ClickFunnels. Um, this is very, very similar to ClickFunnels. So if you've ever used that editor, very similar. So let's take a look over inside of my account. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you log in. It's just very nice, clean, simple, um, bright layout, <laughs> okay? So in here you can see you've got your tutorials and all that good stuff, your support section if you need help. And then if you click on settings, you can see here that it's got WordPress integration, which is really cool. So you actually host your pages that you create on WordPress. So if you're a WordPress user, this is great for you. Um, now, if you've got Aweber, ActiveCampaign, or GetResponse, or MailChimp, then you are in luck. Otherwise, you can request an integration or you can use their HTML integration. So for example, I use Entreport for email and they don't have a direct integration with Entreport. But the cool thing is that you can integrate via HTML forms. So it's no big deal. You can basically use any autoresponder, which is clearly awesome. Okay, so um, the account that I got is up to 20 domains. Uh, I think the only two options are you either get one or you get 20. So I got the one with 20, of course, because I like to, you know, <laughs> throw these things on whatever site I feel like doing. All right, so let's go back home and I can show you the campaigns that I've already created. You can see this is uh, very similar to uh, ClickFunnels in the way that it works. So I'm actually gonna create a new one yeah, let's just create a new one so I can show you how it works. And this one will be Mars Marketing Demo. Okay, so this is just for you guys. So I'm gonna create that. And in here, I have no pages, so I'm gonna click on Create More Pages or Add More Pages. And the first one I'm gonna want is an opt-in page. So you can see there are a couple um, different options that we have here. And if you want to preview them, you click the little preview button. If you just want to select it, then you can select it. So let's try this one. Okay, we're just going to go with the first one. Select that. What's cool here is that you've got your sections. I'm on my small screen, so you can't actually see the whole thing like you normally would. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is where you can change all the names. So this is actually, I'm going to call it opt-in. It's not going to be opt-in three. And in here you can put your header code and your footer code. So this would be great for, you know, if you have any tracking scripts, like if you're running Facebook ads and you want a Facebook tracking pixel, or if you're using something like, um, con uh, not convert kit, uh, conversion fly. Okay, so anything that you're tracking conversions with, this is where you'd put your pixels um, to make sure that all of your visitors are being tracked in here, okay? So in order to edit these pages, you would click the edit button, but first let's just add more pages. We're gonna just build out kind of a, a pseudo marketing funnel, if you will. So I'll add a new page here, and this time I'm going to select a landing page. So they've got more designs over here. So this would be like where I'm actually going to be talking about my product. This looks very similar to the one that they used for their own sales page. So I imagine that that's probably what it is. Let's just grab this one. It looks nice and clean. I'll select that. So you can see just how quickly you can actually create your pages. So that page is created and I'll just call this sales page. And now where it differs a little bit from ClickFunnels right now is that they don't have checkout pages. So you can't use this to create your checkout 
um, you know, like to process payments. So of course you could use something like JVZoo or you could use PayPal, or if you're an Entreport user, you would continue using your Entreport checkout pages. Uh, you just can't process through here, okay? So now that we've created a couple of pages, I wanna go back to the opt-in page and let's just do a little bit of editing so you can see what the editor looks like. This is what I, I love about these pages is that they're so pretty and they're so easy to change. Okay, so we've got our logo here. If I wanna change out the logo, I can just double click on it. It opens up all of my images that I've already uploaded. I've got, I've got uh, a logo here that I'll put in so and it automatically resizes now if I wanted to change that I would just click on it and I could click on style and you can see I can change the margins so if I want to bring it down or if I want to change the width if I want my images to be big or small so you've got lots of different options I could also change what action happens if someone clicks on the logo in this case I probably wouldn't want to do anything but I wanted to show you anyways, right? We've got all these different options. So you could have it scroll further down the page, which is great. If you've got a sales page, you could open a URL, open a pop-up, all this cool stuff, right? You can also do some animations. So you get all these different kinds of animations. I probably wouldn't use any in this case, but I could bring it in with a fade. I could, uh, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Okay, so let's just leave it, that off. I just kind of want to show you because it's a demo. And I'm going to leave it at start when visible, but you could say start when on page load, and then it would automatically be on the page when it loads. In this case, it's uh, it, it would be on the page when it loads anyways. This is for images that are further down below the fold. And you've got these spark animations. I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so it just shakes the, the whole... Um, the whole image box. Okay, so let me get out of that. In here, when you want to start editing, you just start typing like any other editor. Hi there, this is a demo. Okay, let me get rid of some of this because that doesn't make sense. This would be your fabulously high converting uh, headline, right? Now, in here, this is where you actually would, let me click in here and then click on style. So I've got different things I can change in here. Uh, I could change the button. Okay, so I could change the button width if I wanted to. I probably wouldn't want to. I'd just leave that alone. I can click in the button and actually just change the text. Okay, so I could just type directly into the text box. I could change the font if I wanted to, if we didn't want that, the one that it was there. They've got all these nice Google fonts. We can change the font weight. So you really have complete control over the look and feel of everything. You can see how many different options there are. Okay, I just wanted to scroll down and show you all these options. And this is just the styling options for desktop. If you actually wanted to change it for tablet, you could enable that so it would look different. And the same thing for mobile phones. So you can see that that's not, that's not lining up exactly how you want. You'd click enable, click on button, and just change the button width so that it matches exactly the width that you want it to be okay or you could put zero equals 100 percent so I'm just gonna put it to 100 percent go back over to desktop and now what I want to do is click on this little wrench okay so because this is an email opt-in box which you could also drag in from the side over here uh, you guys probably see it before I do Uh, here it is right at the bottom. So you would just drag and drop that in like that. Super easy. Okay, I don't actually want that. Let me let me get rid of that. You just click on it and click the little trash can. Okay, so I've got this one and I want to work on it. So I'm going to click on style and then I'm going to click again on this little icon here. Now the autoresponder, Igloo is going to, uh, it's not really a built-in autoresponder, but it just kind of builds your list. It'll tell you what contacts have come through. So what I want to do actually is go to custom HTML and then whatever your your form code from your autoresponder, you could just paste it in there. Unless, of course, you're using one of these very popular autoresponders, then you could use one of them, okay? And that is an, an API integration. It's a direct integration with your autoresponder, which is cool. It's a little bit faster. Um, for me, I really don't mind the, the HTML. I just love that it integrates with Entreport because I love Entreport. Okay, same thing here. We've got the animation. You could also change, uh, you know, any additional stuff in here that you want. Now I want to show you something that's really cool that I actually 
do not have in my current page builder that I really, really like. Okay, so if I click on the background and I click on style, then I can go to background type and I've got none. And now I wanna to go to my settings and I'm gonna to go to background and I'm gonna change the background from image to YouTube video. I just think this is a really killer feature. Okay, so I pulled up a nice, a pretty YouTube video just for this demo and I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna bring it back over here and put the YouTube URL here. So I want it to be muted and I want the video to start a little bit later into the video. So let's say that I want it to be at um, 200, 200 seconds in, okay? Uh, you could do a pixelated overlay if you wanted to, to just kind of make it a little bit more stylized. Uh, you'd need to upload an image for the, well, it says right here for mobile devices because it is not gonna autoplay the video. So what I'm gonna do here is save this and then we'll preview it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that was a horrible animation, but doesn't the background look amazing? Now, of course, you're not gonna pick the video that has these little watermarks on it, right? You need to pick a video with a nice background. But I think it looks so nice, and I, I can think of so many different ways that you could get creative with this. Like if you had you know, video of yourself presenting from a stage or something like that, it could be a really cool background. If you're you know, an, in naturopathic business, you could have something nice and relaxing like this. There are just so many different applications for it, and I just, I don't know. I like to get a little creative with my pages, so I wanted to show you that feature. If you've ever used ClickFunnels, you're probably nodding your head being like, yeah, this is so much like ClickFunnels, right? This is so much like ClickFunnels. So this isn't showing up properly because I haven't put my form code in here, nor am I going to. So let me just change that back. I'm going to change it to Igloo Autoresponder so everything looks good again. I'll save that and get out of here. Now there's all kinds of other things you can put in here. If I wanted to put a video on the page, I would just drag it down into here. And then you can click on this and in the style settings, you've got all the, the options for what you can do. So you could say a YouTube video, you could have a custom embed code, a Vimeo video, whatever it is that you want, you could put it in there. You've also got icons. So depending on what level you get, you just click on select icon and you've got all these different, well, let's throw down a this. And then when you click on the style, this is kind of cool, you can change your colors right in here. Okay, so you don't have to like be going, normally you'd have to go and download icons of all different colors, but you can actually change it to your colors right in here. Another feature that's really nice here is the color bucket. Now this one I think is only available on the pro level, which I think is $20 more, I can't remember exactly, but this way you can save all of your colors. So if you wanted to go back and let me see, I wanted one of my logo colors, I can copy that like just by clicking on it. I can click it and I could come back over to this, um, this check mark and then I could paste my color in right here, okay? So that I could get my branding right. Really important to get your branding right, of course, right? So this page is gonna start to look pretty terrible, but uh, I wanna show you all the features. You also have social. So we could pull out these social and I'll show you in here. If you go to style, you've got different types that you can choose from. So, you know, based on the kind of branding that you wanna have, you've got all these different types of sharing and I think they look pretty, pretty good. Okay. And in here, you've got options. So if you didn't wanna have Facebook, I don't know why you wouldn't want to have Facebook, but you could get rid of those. You can also animate them just like all of the other, all of the other things on here. We've got timers. Everybody loves a good timer, right? So that of course isn't showing up on this background. I'm going to click on style and I'm going to actually scroll down and change the text color so it'll show up. You know what? Let's just change it to my special color here. Make it more bold. Okay, we've got navigation. So you could actually, you could use this to actually build yourself a website if you felt so inclined. Okay, you've got your different items. You could change it to a vertical alignment if you wanted. Let me show you what that looks like. I don't know why you'd want to. I think that looks a bit terrible, but um, yeah, let's just delete that. Okay, we can put dividers. 
and you can change what the divider looks like of course you can see there's all different types in here so we could have a dash divider if you wanted custom HTML if you had special code that you wanted to put in there um, if you wanted to add some bullets like a bullet list you can see here if you click on this and click style um, we could say the icon size could be bigger we could change the icon okay so if you wanted little airplanes there you go and then of course you've got your email opt-in box so as you can see I've created this fabulously beautiful page <laughs> let me just preview what this looks like uh, yeah it's not gonna look that great but I am gonna show you the sales page in just a second okay so we've got our nice background oh, I forgot to save it anyways you can see that there are a lot of really great features if you're a ClickFunnels user of course this is amazing and what what I love about this is that it's not an additional monthly fee right I know that um, it's really easy to get caught up in buying you know tool after tool and you end up looking at your you know your outgoing monthly expenses and you're like man I've got a lot of expenses here this is not like that this is a one-time you know one-time purchase which is actually really nice because uh, as you know page builders you look at lead pages click funnels uh, entreport they're all they're you know they're a monthly fee that you got to keep paying for so this is actually a nice break so let me just exit this one I'm gonna show you the sales page here I'm gonna go in and edit that so you know I think that these pages look pretty good right out of the box I'm just gonna go ahead and, and save this uh, I haven't even made any changes I probably didn't need to save it but if I scroll down you can see that they've already put in some really good placeholders to give you ideas for what you might want to put onto your onto your sales page I've got a little FAQ section down here very cool so what I'm gonna do is click preview and you can see you've got a great looking page right out of the box okay so I just think with this with igloo app you just really can't go wrong for the one-time fee now the one downside that I, you know full disclosure the one thing that I really wish that it had was conversion tracking so it doesn't have that it's something that you know if you've been using click funnels or if you've been using lead pages that's something you're gonna miss so what I would recommend is if you're gonna use this you're probably gonna want to use it with your Google Analytics or if you have a, an analytics tool like conversion fly or um, optimizely or something like that then you can use those tools to actually track the conversions because the software doesn't do it itself I don't know if that's you know uh, an update that's gonna be forthcoming or something along those lines but there are definitely ways around it and for the price you like you cannot come close this is less than a tenth of the price less than a twelfth of the price that you pay for some other software out there for most of it in fact so I hope that you have enjoyed this review I really really enjoy this software so I really, really can't say enough good things about this software, but because I wanted to make it even more valuable to you, I actually created a special training that's just for you, just for your eyes only. Um, and if you decide to get Igloo, I actually put together a course called How to Build a Marketing Funnel on a Shoestring Budget um, so that you could build a complete sales funnel in about an hour using the most affordable tools on the internet. Now, that's not to say that this software is only for you if you're on a shoestring budget, okay? Uh, I don't want you to feel that way. I love this software and I actually uh, love building pages in it. I think that they're beautiful, they're mobile responsive, they, they look great on any device. And so even if you're, you know, an Entreport user, so you're using, you know, a pretty high-end system, this is still something that you could include in that, like with your marketing tools, it's because it's that one-time fee. Anyways, I put together this training. It's uh, about an hour and 24 minutes long, and it actually walks you through the creation of a sales funnel. So if you decide to get Igloo app through any of the links on this page, wherever it is that you are, then uh, this is a bonus that will be included with that. I just want to make things super, super easy for you to get started. You could start as fast as humanly possible, create yourself a great sales funnel and get into profit immediately with your new sales funnel and with Igloo app. So again, this is Don Mars from Mars Marketing. So glad you decided to join me today. I hope that you enjoyed the training and I will talk to you soon.